this is a difficult question. There are many parts to it. Um, I do think that there is a perception that CAR T cell therapy may be more expensive than standard of care options. But I think, you know, what needs to be made clear is that in patients receiving CAR T cell therapy, in theory, this is a one and done type of treatment that offers a long disease free period, the medium PFS or cell cells about 35 months in that CAR T1 study. So, I mean, you're three years treatment free, and particularly in patients who have a complete response or a very deep response right away, they're likely going to have more durable responses down the road. We have done a cost per responder model analysis, which was recently published, where we compared the cost of patients receiving cell to cell versus those receiving standard of care. And we actually saw a significant benefit in terms of financial benefit to receiving CAR T compared to standard of care. Um, certainly, access. I think to me is a very big issue and one of the bigger issues because patients, you know, have to have a caregiver, they have to have the means to go to an epidemic center or, or to a site that provides CAR-T, they have to have a caregiver and, you know, that may limit the amount of time that they're away from work, um, that they're getting paid. So I think, you know, that's a bigger issue and certainly we need uh, more solutions to this, but as CAR-T perhaps becomes more widely available in just certain epidemic centers, um, you know, that may help with, with some of this burden. Uh, we are looking at some data and have a study ongoing looking at social determinants of health to hopefully identify some other um, indices or predictors for, you know, how can we improve access for certain patient populations.